So today we are doing part two of the um, the Power Wheels build. Now, yesterday I uploaded part one, and a lot of you guys had uh, really good suggestions on what to call this thing. One of them in particular was the Grave Ninja. That's the one I like. So what I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna start calling this thing the Grave Ninja 650. That is the official name for now until we can come up with a, uh, if we can come up with a better one. But for now, let's call it the Great, the uh, Grave Ninja 650. I really like that name. So, in this video, we're going to be um, starting to disassemble the, uh, the body, cutting it in half and figuring out how long it needs to be and figuring out the seat and all of the frame that we need to build inside of it and figuring out the front hubs. I'm uh, working on the front hubs and... Uh, all the suspension and how we're going to do all this stuff. So I had to take a short break from this to start painting the VF1000 buggy. That's all the uh, the blue things that you see hanging behind me. So uh, you know, now that we've um, finally got our first coat on that, we can start working on part two of this. So anyway, let's uh, get started.
I just finished making these. Now they almost are perfect. The brake disc has almost zero deflection, which is awesome. Now this is Go Power Sport six and a half inch hub. Um, I know they don't sell them for the bearing style. All they sell is the six and a half inch with the one inch bore. That's why I had to make these from scratch. Now I have read in the past, you guys have been asking me in the comments where to buy something like this. I haven't replied to any of those comments just because I don't know where to buy something like this. That's why I had to make these. Now that I had to make these for myself, now that I know that I can make them, and I have enough material to make at least a couple dozen of these things, let me know in the comments below. Should I start making these things and selling them on eBay? Is this something you guys are interested in buying and you just can't find it? Um, let me know. I can make two different uh, styles of these. I can make ones with the brake disc and ones without. Uh, I'm not sure how much I would have to charge for something like this, just because these two right here, they took me around a day and a half to make these, but most of that was having to figure out all the dimensions and stuff like that. Now that all that stuff is already known, uh, maybe it's going to be a little bit faster to make it, maybe like a dozen of these things at a time. So let me know in the comments below. Is this something you guys are still interested in buying? Should I start making these things and selling them on eBay? Let me know in the comments below. We interrupt this regular scheduled program to bring you an unboxing video. What did I buy today? Now I saw this on Amazon. I had to buy it. This thing looks incredible. This is a camera slide. You put your camera on this thing that's in the box and it like moves it back and forth you can have it like make it turn in different directions to like track something I'm really hoping this thing is gonna like improve how my time-lapse videos look this thing was not cheap so let's hope it works oh wow oh look at this thing oh look at that It comes with like a, this little controller type thing. That is awesome. Alright, so I skimmed over the manual a little, a little bit just to, you know, just enough to figure out how this thing works and I pretty much got a good grasp of how to work this thing. So, the reason I bought this is because I want to, in my time lapse videos, I want to have the camera moving from one side to another side. And the way that this works, with if you move this bar right here, the camera can pan and focus on something in the center, or if you move it in the other direction, it can like turn like that when it goes back and forth. So I was hoping to use this for my time lapse videos to make them look a little better, um, but unfortunately I don't think that's going to work because on the slowest setting that this goes, it goes from one side to the next in 3 minutes and 20 seconds. That is not slow enough for a time lapse. My time lapse videos can range from anywhere from 5 minutes to sometimes even 30 minutes long. So I was hoping that this, that this was going to go slow enough to where it will at least go from one side to the next in at least 20 minutes. That is... Uh, you know, unfortunately not the case with this. You know, this thing can still do other stuff. I can still use it for... Uh, tracking shots instead of you know holding the camera and trying to you know slowly move it to the side I don't know that's a little bit shaky because I can't hold the camera still I can use this and get a perfectly still shot of this so this is still gonna come in handy for some other stuff but uh, I just kinda you can't use it for what I mainly bought this thing for so now this is its fastest speed right here goes from one side to the next this is uh, 100% speed and it's pretty fast it's it's fast enough for a decent tracking shot this is its slowest setting which is uh, 1% so it may look really slow on the camera but for a time lapse it is not slow enough so anyway let's uh let's stop playing around with this thing let's uh, get back to the original schedule program
So I'm trying to figure out how much I should stretch this uh, this plastic shell. I don't want to do it too short, because it's too short, you're going to be crammed in here. Too long, it's going to look weird, so I think uh, right about here should be good. Alright, let me get off this thing before I fall. Let's say 10 inches. That should be good. All right, so before we can start on the frame, we first need to figure out how we're doing the suspension. That's uh, Let's start on the rear suspension. That's gonna be a little bit easier than the front. Um, we need to mount this stuff to the rear axle. This is the uh, the sprocket off of the, uh, off of the Kawasaki Ninja. This is what we're gonna be using for the rear axle. This is the front brake disc off of a CBR600. It's a little bit big, but it's what I have, so let's go with it. It's also going to be, you know, good enough to where uh, it'll have some decent stopping power um, for what we're doing. So we need to build some hubs, so therefore we're going to attach this stuff to the rear axle. These are hubs from uh, Tractor Supply. I already cut out these uh, two pieces of plate. This is a quarter inch plate. We're going to be drilling a giant hole in here and then welding these onto here and then turning again. So therefore we're going to attach this, this stuff to the hubs and then we're going to attach it to the rear axle. So uh, let's start milling and turning and drilling and all that fun stuff that I love doing. So we ended up making most of the hubs that we need for this project. We made the hub for the uh, brake, for the uh, sprocket, the hub for the brake disc, and the front hubs for this project. These turned out beautiful. I really like how they turned out. Um, time got away from me a little bit with this with this video. Um, I'm kind of working on like three or four other other things right now. In the meantime of working on this, 
So I need to end this video here. I was kind of hoping to do a little bit more, get a little bit more work done, but um, you know, it's uh, we'll get hopefully get a little bit more work done in the next video uh, of this product. So anyway. I gotta end this video here now to thank Go Power Sports for sending us the parts we are using for this project. I'll be leaving links for everything in the description below. Go check that out. I gotta end the video here. Thank y'all for watching. I'll see ya in the next video. Whoops. That is uh, not planned. Well, mess this up. First of all, I did that mistake right there. Thought I could, uh, I thought I could cover it up with weld, but nah, it's not gonna work. Second is I kind of over overdid this bore a little bit, so it's just a tad, tad bit too loose. So yeah, that's a scrap part. Let's uh, let's make it again.